Hey everyone and welcome to another informational turtle video by me, Travis. Alright, before we get to the good stuff, April 17th, I am heading to another reptile show and I am going to film it for you guys. Will I get more turtles? I don't know. And if I do, it will not be a Matamata -mata or any kind of snapping turtle. I don't know why you guys want me to get a snapping turtle, but... Everyone says, get a snapping turtle. I will never, ever own a snapping turtle. I don't, they don't interest me at all. They're big, yeah. I don't want them, at all. All right, so, most of you who are subscribed to me or watching this video are in the United States, but for those that aren't, it is illegal to buy turtles in pet stores under four inches. But why is that? Well, let's go back years ago. Years ago, it was legal to buy turtles under four inches. So, you know, everybody bought cute turtles, like Ghost here, and gave it to their kids. Main reason they're illegal now is because of idiot parents. But the real reason is 80% 80 80 of turtles are estimated to carry Salmonella. Salmonella can be a naturally occurring bacteria that live in the intestines of turtles. Uh, snakes, it's estimated all snakes carry uh, salmonella. Birds carry it. You can get it on meat, eggs. Yeah, it was just due to improper handling, you know. Little kids touched the turtles, you know, stuck their fingers in their mouths, put it on their clothes, didn't wash their hands, and you can get sick from salmonella. For a regular adult, or above, I forget what age, uh, you can get diarrhea for like a week or two. It's not really serious, but for older people and little kids, you can actually die from it. So, all these baby turtles were bought and no one washed their hands and whatnot else, and it became a serious problem. And so the United States banned the selling of all turtles under four inches, and this put a halt to the problem. So that's basically it on salmonella. Just wash your hands after keeping your handling the reptiles or anything with the reptiles, and you'll stay clean of salmonella. Oh, also, you can get your turtles tested at a vet for salmonella, but it's actually a really inaccurate test. That a turtle can have it, and it will not show up on the test because it just didn't show up on their stool sample. And a turtle cannot have it, and then later on it actually gets it from something that you fed it, and then it will have it. But, like I said, it's estimated 80% of turtles have salmonella. And I guess that's it for this video. So the next video will be at the reptile show, so... See you guys then. And I'm sure if I get another turtle, I will make a video of that too.